genomic libraries in high capacity vectors. In addition to lambda vectors, we can also use other vectors that can clone even larger DNA fragments. Uh, from previous topics, you have the idea that uh, different type of vectors are available that can accommodate comparatively larger DNA fragments. Masal ke tor pe, hum use kar sakte hain bacterial artificial chromosomes, then P1 derived artificial chromosomes, ya yeast artificial chromosome. So inka advantage ye hai ke bacteriophage lambda ke comparison mein ye zyada jo bada DNA fragment hai, usko ye clone kar sakte hain. So what may be the advantage of cloning in uh, vectors are high capacity vectors. The advantage is that the size of the genomic library that will be produced, uh, it will contain comparatively uh, low number of recombinant clones that is easy to screen. Again, I can repeat that what is genomic library? A genomic library, it represents the whole genomic DNA of a particular organism in the form of recombinant clones that also contain our gene of interest. Agar number of clones hoonge, to usko screen karne mein zyada time lagega, lekin agar hum high capacity vectors ko use karenge, to uski screening ke liye jo time hai, wo comparatively kam use hooga. So this is one of the advantage of using high capacity vector. So Another example of high capacity vector, it is the cosmid that can clone up to 45 uh, kilobase uh, of DNA fragment. Although it is very, very advantageous, here again the size of the genomic library that will be produced in comparison with lambda genome, it will be uh, very small. Because here the larger DNA fragment, it has been cloned around 45 kilobase but it has certain limitations. Both vector, lambda vector and cosmin vector, they have, they have certain uh, limitations. Uh, like in case of bacteriophage lambda, comparatively small fragment of DNA, around 20 kilobase pair, they can be cloned, but in case of cosmin, comparatively larger DNA fragments, uh, it can accommodate. But the screening of colonies after plague formation, in case of cosmin vector, uh, it is uh, comparatively uh, uh, not, uh, you can say that, uh, so much suitable because the hybridization uh, background, it is less in case of cosmic vector. And hybridization we use to detect our gene of interest by using specific probe. Whereas in case of lambda genome uh, or lambda vector, uh, here the DNA hybridization uh, it is very clear. It gives clear results. So this is one of the advantage of uh, bacteriophage lambda. Another advantage of bacteriophage lambda is that the shelf life of genomic library, it is comparatively longer as compared to cosmet libraries because the shelf life of uh, uh, E. coli host, it may be, uh, you can say, compromised as compared to bacteriophage lambda because in case of bacterial host, the viability may be the issue. In addition to that, uh, we can also use high uh, capacity cloning vector. As I told you that bacteria are artificial chromosome or yeast artificial chromosome because they can clone comparatively larger DNA fragments. Like bacterial artificial chromosome, they can clone uh, around a 200 kilobase DNA fragment and uh, uh, in case of uh, yeast artificial chromosome, so your DNA ki length, hai, it may be more than 200 kilobase, like uh, maybe up to 2000 kilobase, so larger DNA fragments they are produced. Uh, but uh, during cloning procedure, there may be some difficulties because of the large DNA fragments, so it is not always preferred. These high capacity vectors, they are mainly preferred uh, where the genome mapping is required or the subsequent sequencing, uh, it is uh, uh, required for different type of source DNA.